So in this short video, uh, I'm going to talk about separable differential equations uh, in situations uh, where we cannot uh, actually find the antiderivative of, of the quantities. So I have here shown <coughs> three uh, examples. The first one dy dx equals minus x over y and very clear that it is very obvious uh, you can separate the equation and that will be y times dy equals minus x times uh, dx. So just let me just write down here that will be y dy equals minus x dx and this is very clear that you can integrate it uh, to get uh, half of y square equals minus half of y square uh, half of x square plus a constant that's very normal uh, always we expect that we should be able to uh, find the antiderivatives and then get an explicit form of the solution now what happens uh, if you cannot find the antiderivative, what do you do? For instance, in the second uh, example and in the third example, uh, let, let's get started with the second example, see what happens. So, uh, dy dx, so dy dx is e to the power minus x squared. So, uh, you see that you don't have to do anything, it is already uh, just a derivative. So, in order to find a y, uh, you have to integrate that. So, you integrate on both sides. Uh, so, maybe just write down the, in a convenient way dx. So, you integrate with respect to x uh, both side and you see that on the right hand side uh, the integral is something that you cannot evaluate because we don't know how to find the antiderivative of e to the power minus x squared so what we do here we look at the uh, initial condition and the initial condition is given at x equal to 3 so what we do here uh, the integral will go from 3 to x and then change x to a dummy variable so independent variable to a dummy variable uh, dt so we got 3 to x e to the power minus t square dt okay and in the left hand side now you have y of x which is a definite integral going from 3 to x and on the right hand side you just leave it as is e to the power minus t square dt okay uh, so next uh, you write uh, perhaps you write it t here so you will read it y of x minus y of 3 3 to x e to the power minus t square dt okay and y of 3 is given 5 so uh, you take that 5 or y of 3 to the right hand side 5 plus integration of 3 to x e to the minus t square so this is my solution uh, to this initial bell problem so while this is very clear uh, I'm going to look at the third example uh, which is dy dx equals y times e to the power minus x square and y4 is equal to 1. So the only difference between uh, this initial problem and the previous one 
is that if it has a y on the right hand side so the previous one was a direct integration did not require any separation of variable so this one uh, requires a separation of variable okay so we can uh, separate uh, variables in a in a uh, in a regular way uh, so we can we can write dy by y equals e to the power uh, minus x square dx uh, or you can also write by following my previous scenario 1 over y dy uh, dx e to the power minus x square so it does not matter so in this form it does not look like you are using uh, separation of variable however in this form it looks like you are using separation of variable so what you do now uh, is the following uh, you integrate uh, integrate it now the problem uh, in this integration uh, is you have to be a little careful uh, uh, when you integrate you uh, integrate it from the limit of uh, y going from uh, 1 so I see that here y4 equal to 1 so which tells you that the limit for y is going from 1 to y and then it change inside into a dummy variable dt or t uh, on the right hand side what you do is you use the variable uh, x and x is a limit 4 so you go from 4 to x e to the power minus t square dt okay so that's okay but it looks <coughs> excuse me it looks a little bit of uh, complicated uh, uh, for some of you might be uh, might be terrible so instead uh, if I look at the quantity on the right hand side and then I just go for uh, an integration from x 4 to x so I go from 4 to x 1 over y dy dt so I change x independent variable uh, to uh, to t and dt and on the right hand side I integrate from 4 to x e to the minus t square dt so this right hand side things looks uh, much better uh, so you can uh, integrate that and uh, you end up with uh, 1 over y dy dt so how do you integrate 1 over y uh, dy dt so uh, you get ln of y and you're going from uh, x 4 to x and on the right hand side you just stay from 4 to x e to the minus t square dt okay and uh, here uh, if you look at here then uh, you say ln of t limit going from 1 to y and on the right hand side 4 to x e to the minus t square dt okay. so it doesn't matter uh, here you get uh, ln of y minus ln of 1 and here also get uh, ln of y x minus ln of y at 4 okay and ln of y at 4 is 1 so end of the the result is the same so what you have here on the right hand side is just uh, this quantity okay 
So law number one is uh, it would be zero is one. So law number one is uh, zero. Okay. So then uh, you can just take the exponentiation of both sides uh, to get to the block. So e to the power four to x e to the power minus t square dt maybe my writing okay so this is the final answer uh, for for this problem so uh, what uh, you see uh, here is that let's 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 generalize it so you have an initial value problem so you want to solve this initial value problem uh, dy dx equals g of x times h of y and you have an initial condition y of x0 equals y0 and when you separate it you write 1 over h of y dy dx uh, equals uh, g of x and then uh, if terrible thing occurs that uh, you cannot integrate g of x so can't find integral of g of x so in that case uh, you integrate uh, left hand side uh, and uh, right hand side so uh, left hand side you go from x0 to x 1 over h of y dy dt dt change x to dummy variable and on the right hand side you go x0 to x g of t dt well so you, you can separate x take to the right hand side and uh, integrate uh, left hand side uh, with respect to y right hand side with respect to x you go from lower limit of y to upper limit y and on the right hand side lower limit of x which is x0 to an arbitrary x uh, both way it is fine so uh, the only challenge here to take care of is that uh, after uh, the separation of variable uh, you cannot uh, find the antiderivative and i hope this is clear now thank you very much